For today, we're gonna go to the one I've wanted to go to for many, many years. The Masuda Iwafune, which means the rock boat. There's a lot of stairs right there. Going up there and around here, we have a bunch of nothing. So let's go for it. Okay, we're going up these stairs. Now this ground here, it's quite soft. And it hasn't rained here for a few days. So the moisture in the air Not too bad, it's, it's fall, so it's kind of dry. Sign said, beware of wild boars. We're in the middle of a city, so what kind of a city? We're up here. If this thing is up here, this has got to be serious because there's no way anything could be carried up here. Just not happening. Beyond the trees, the soft ground. See the area here. It's kind of slippery. We're just going to take a quick detour over here. This is a rocky mountain, though. It looks like this has been quarried. There is a boulder down there. It's a good. I'm going to say 2.5 meters across that rock face. Good eight meters, eight to 10. Let's see if we can see anything else around in there. Yeah, There's a very hard center here. But, yeah, it doesn't look like it's been quarried, but I'm not going to say that for sure. Let's get back on the trail. And go up here. Doesn't see me, anybody here today. This is a Monday and it is slippery. It's very wet. This passage is kind of well worn, but a lot of things have fallen down. Here we got a sign that's telling us the direction to go. We're almost there. Hopefully, oh gosh, they've cut a, a path through here. Maybe to help people get through here. You're definitely not gonna bring anything through here. Yeah. Okay, we're on the, almost the top of the mountain, I guess. We've got to be, I can't see from here, a 
good couple hundred feet up here. At least 80 meters up. 80 to 90. Then the mountain just keeps coming. The view is really nice. Really massive bamboo here. It's very massive. I said I've been wanting to come here for a couple of years. You don't want to fall down there. That's quite a drop. Possibly if the ground is wet, you don't want to come here. Oh my. Oh my. You've got to be joking. That is it. That's the size of two 40 foot containers stacked on each other. It's massive. It's literally on the top of the mountain. There's no erosion around here. Nothing has been moved around here. Whoa. You've got to be joking. Let me pull back on this camera and I will get some better shots with it. Oh boy. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, get real. Get real. This thing's got scoop marks all over it. These are not chisel marks. What the hell is this? It's like they scooped right on through it. Looks like a granite rock. Get up here. Hang on a second. Oh, wow. You see this? How did this get here? Oh, come up. It's just covered with scoop marks. What the heck? It's one solid piece. There's no, there's nothing like chisel marks. It's just like somebody took a spoon and scooped it out of here. All of them. It was like art to them. And they're all the same width. Oh. Oh. Look at this thing. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my. We're going to keep going over here just to get a look at this thing. I'm going to cut the camera for right now. We're going to get some pictures. The size of this thing is massive. It's got to be a thousand tons or more. It's just not possible to be transported here. So the ground is soft. There's nothing around here whatsoever. There's no rock formations. There's nothing else. It's really soft. Nothing but a bamboo grove. Here we are at the top of the mountain. There's no other rocks. We're gonna be able to look down. And that's what we have around here. Absolutely nothing. Just a massive rock in the middle of nowhere. 
back side of it looks like a waterfall that people just made up design. It's like kids playing with it, learning how to make these marks with whatever machine they had. Kind of looks like it's been tilted. They're not chisel marks anywhere. They're just scoop marks. Giant scoop marks. All the way around. Come around the side of it. It is just massive. This thing's got to be 15 meters tall. It's like the top is smooth and then they started just making these things. This part kind of looks like a face. <laughs> Leave that in the comments and see if what you say. Depends on the angle of the camera, what they look like. Here's the Japanese explanation that means absolutely nothing. It sure seems as if there's some pattern to this. It's maybe not child play as we think. Somebody's tried to dig under it and see what's under it. It's obviously just sitting on it. It's not part of the top of the mountain. It's definitely been placed here because below it's not rock. Here we have another face looking thing. But it just totally scooped out. There's no cut marks or chisel marks or any flakes anywhere. Maybe they were able to pull it through with their fingers, <laughs> like mud. Mm. Absolutely no idea what this thing is. <laughs> it's gonna take more time to figure this one out than all the others. Ready? Okay, now, now that was an adventure. I waited quite a few years to come see this thing. This one you got me. There's just no other explanation. It, it couldn't be there, just out of the blue. Well, take a look at the video. I'll put some more photos online so you can get some better, uh, clearer photos of it. Make your own opinion. I recommend you to come here and take a look at it. It's kind of out of the, out of the way, but it's worth it. See you next time.